Hello everyone and welcome to First Aid. My name is Adrian Trotter and in this series of videos I'm doing 30 Days of Lux. Appreciate you. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video for the YouTube algorithm, hit those notifications. I do release daily videos, whether it's a 30 day of a champion or going into uh, League of Legends tips and I do some playthroughs and, and such. I also have marketing tips to help promote and grow your channel. And let's dive into this video. So we did pretty well. Um, this actually this series of videos is uh, going to be where I take um, some level of skill from skill capped, apply the knowledge that I've learned to see if I can't um, grow my rank and get up there in the ladder. Um, I'm going into season 10 as a gold, low gold really, and I am going to attempt to hit diamond at least, which is going to be uh, such a grind. So the last episode or the last series of episodes, I should say, um, has Lux, seven days of Lux. This type of video uh, is going to take what I learned from Skillcapped. In the last video, they actually used what Skillcapped was teaching, which was coming back from behind. And I lost. In this video, I show you how we are going to come back from behind as well because deep into this video, we were doing really bad. I think this was my first kill actually um, on Senna with the shutdown there. So uh, anyways, that, what they were teaching is kind of taking what, at one kill at a time and holding that mid tower as much as you possibly can. Um, that is one of the keys to this is to hold that mid tower, get the kills um, and don't give up that's what i would say i mean i was a little discouraged at the beginning of this fight or this game because we were losing a lot like bot lane was dying we weren't getting any um support from our jungle but we ended up uh, pulling this this game off as you'll see if you keep on continuing to watch if you made it this far i do appreciate it i have a twitter account which you can follow i'll have a link in the, the description there i also have an instagram account which will have um, some snippets of some clips if you can't end up watching a whole uh, video so the, in this replay of this day seven of lux i have to admit that um, i'm seeing some weird matchups in the mid lane recently like senna mid um, i haven't seen that in a while I'm not saying i played like 5,000 games or anything i just haven't really seen it um the their team uh, seems pretty standard i mean a jack's jungle a Renekton top and wow just look at that oh god and watch this prediction here i predicted that he's gonna go right back in as the q goes off on him for the double kill that I'd have to say was one of my favorite plays of this game. One of them. So you'll see that uh, in that coming back from behind being uh, one of the key things to not lose your cool. That's what keeps me in on the top of like what I've learned from being in bronze and silver. That I used to tilt so hard very early without really realizing um, how that really affected my teammates. So my growth and development as a player, as you watch this channel and as you kind of follow me and you say, wow, I remember when he was hecka bad. Um, I would say uh, I appreciate the, the journey. It, you'll see that I'm learning quite well how to kind of handle that um, the, the, uh, when games don't really 100% go your way. This and by no means was a stop. I think we even lost or not lost lane per se, but we definitely had less kills than them um, because our team was just, it was just tough. The, the jungle wasn't really showing up as much as I remembered. I caught Zix really doing. Now we, 
uh, go in, take their mid tower, but they are like hungry. After This is actually after they've killed and downed our whole team. I'm sitting here at mid with zero HP here, barely any. You're keeping distance, hitting a Q, poking, keeping distance. And then I see the lineup and take the shot. They do take the tower, but those two deaths will actually be crucial and paramount to the game. I just want to go over and show that again. I'm waiting with patience for the lineup here. He dives, boom, hit both of them with the freaking R. It was one of those, um, another really great play as I kept my cool with <laughs> no HP. Um, now, here's another uh, crucial play, fight under tower. We did end up getting Baron, which I'll show you later on a little bit in this video. Um, she could not heal herself in time. Soraka could not heal herself in time. And that's who I was really aiming for a lot of this fight. So you'll see, we take Baron, and I think a lot of them were up. We did have, uh, as you saw, I did take that mountain, Drake. Um, and it was very amazing that that was able to happen. We all five were there. No contest from their jungle. We end up getting Baron. So back back into the, the fight here. Um, again, as you see us pushing now with Baron into the mid lane. Uh, our mid lane was already taken. No inhib was down. Taken out Soraka so her team can't get the heals. Um, I'll share what i'm going to do as well in the next couple of videos is actually share my build path i think that would be crucial because i did uh, bring out uh, morelicon the second item so here i hit him with the q thresh then takes over and handles that one it was amazing this one was a pretty funny one because Jax thought oh yeah i'm i'm cool i don't need any oh god <laughs> it's like, I don't need the back. I could take this uh, R to the face. I don't care. That was um, <laughs> that was quite funny. Here's another crucial play. Uh, a fight as we push through tower. Um, grouping as five when needed here for um, my team's help and support. When we are fighting from behind, I mean, we, we really realize that. I mean, at one point I was two levels over them. And another cool thing about this uh, game was that Lucian said in all chat, basically Lux God. I was like, wow. And uh, I am in no means a god, but it was a, I do admit that it was a bit of a carry there. We did get that inhib. I'm gonna flip on to the last fight of the game where uh, they basically give up after this. We're sitting here at their tower. They are pushed in rather far. Thresh grabs a hook. I grab him with a Q. And Raka is healing. She is doing her best. Boom. She's out of the fight. That's the power of Lux. She's just... People just don't expect to have the cooldown. And I had um, Ultimate Hunter up for this one. Okay, so again, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite this video. If you like more videos like this as well, please leave a comment under this one to kind of tell me what you're looking for. And this was day seven of the 30 Days of Lux Challenge.